Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. Today we're going to be taking a look at customising a vintage He-Man and the Masters of the Universe Sky Sled. Now the Sky Sled is actually the front portion of the Battle Ram and it's quite a cool little toy. It was never released on its own even though in the show you kept seeing uh, He-Man and his sort of cohorts riding around on these. Uh, you had to buy the whole of the Battle Ram to get this one piece. And recently I saw the Origins version of this that has been released and they did a really nice little sort of addition with that, that you could change these side panels to turn it into Skeletor's version of the Sky Sled, which is known as the War Sled. He had a different emblem on the side of it, and he actually had a different head here. So today what I want to do is to uh, redesign the stickers for this Sky Sled and make a custom version that looks exactly like Skeletor's War Sled. And I also want to take it one step further than that, because on the back of the Sky Sled you can see there's a, a bit of a hole here. This is where it attaches to the uh, Battle Ram, and I think uh, with a little bit of uh, designing and a little bit of uh, plastic and some offcuts of uh, styrene sheet, we can make something that looks like an engine or some jets that sits in the back of there just to complete the back side of uh, this sky sled and wall sled. But we're going to design it in such a way that it will still clip inside the uh, battle ram as well and it can still be used as one whole toy. But the first thing we need to do is design some stickers to turn this one into Skeletor's wall sled. Now I'm going to take my sort of design cues from the Origins versions because obviously Mattel have uh, gone to some effort to design those and I'm going to use that as a basis to uh, redraw these stickers and make them look like the war sled version. So let's get into Photoshop and get drawing.
after quite a lot of work and a bit of toing and froing and redesigning, this is the final design that I've come up with. So as you can see, we now have a dragon in red on the top and I've done a blue version at the bottom so you can have a couple of different variants of the war sled. As I say, this is sort of loosely based on the artwork that Mattel did. I used sort of their original drawings and sort of reworked them a bit and I've redesigned the arm a couple of times because I uh, drew it once and it just looked a bit sort of thin and weedy so I've gone back to that and redrawn it again with uh, more muscles and just to make it look a bit more aggressive. It's a very odd shape you have to get this thing to fit into so it's never going to look uh, particularly natural but I think that uh, is quite a nice sort of scale and sort of size for this uh, like dragony type thing and as you can see I've also made this which is a little sort of set of jets that will go on the very back of the uh, war sled. So let's get these uh, new stickers cut out. I've got two different uh, war sleds here and I'm going to stick them on both so we get both versions both with the red dragon and the blue dragon. And here you go, here are the new war sleds with their new custom stickers. On the left we have the original version there with Prince Adam, so that's the original sort of dragon. And then we've got the blue version of my newly drawn dragon here with a trap jaw. It does look really quite nice to have uh, different designs on the sides of these. And then on the far right here we have a Skeletor with the nice sort of bright red dragon. If I turn this one around as well you can see that I've added some little engines on the back there just with a sticker. And it's quite a nice sort of subtle difference just to to add that extra bit of detail there otherwise I do think the back of this looks particularly dull. So I've now got three nice versions. I've got the sky sled and I've got two war sleds there for Skeletor and Trapjaw but we're not finished with this uh, custom yet. As I said we need to make a little engine piece to go in the back of this so uh, let's get that constructed. To make the engine part I'm just going to design something that sits inside this small area here. So I've got my ruler out and I'm going to take some measurements of uh, what exactly can fit in inside it. So you can see I can put my ruler in. It's about uh, one centimetre wide. That goes all the way up. And at the tallest point it is uh, about 2.5. So you made 2.4 centimetres. So we can make something fairly large to go in there. There's one slight sort of issue in the fact that when you attach this to the back of the battle ram at the uh, upper clip part there's a, a little area inside. You can see, actually see where it's the two halves of the battle ram are joined together. Uh, that doesn't actually give you much room. So what I've worked out is we can make some engines uh, that the top engine can only come out about as far as the rear section of that. So that's about one centimetre. And the one at the bottom you can make come out as far as you like. So I'm going to make that sort of about one and a half centimetres just to give it some sort of protrusion so it actually sticks out and looks a bit more interesting. And to make this I've got a whole bag of scraps. These are offcuts of bits of styrene sheet uh, that I've used for other projects. So I found a small piece of that which is this one which is a one millimetre thick styrene sheet. And I've also found this in my sort of spares and parts pot. It's just a bit of plastic tube. Again it's made out of polystyrene so uh, I can use plastic weld and things like that to uh, glue it together uh, and I think this will make uh, nice little engine pieces. So really I'm just going to get sort of cutting and shaping until I've made something that I feel sort of looks right and will do the job and um, yeah we'll see what we can make.
here we go. This is what I've managed to make. As you can see, I've made a little sort of engine piece that uh, will fit quite snugly in the back of the sky sled. I've actually made a couple of them just because I wasn't really sure what sort of design I wanted to go for. This is a quite simplistic one just with a couple of bits of tubing and I put a couple of little panels on either, on either side of the main jet just to make it look a bit bigger. And then on this one, I added a few bits of detail just around the end of it to make it look more like an exhaust. And then uh, the one you saw me make, the sort of a similar idea, but just putting the exhaust piece is sort of further down uh, and the end results though look really quite nice. I've given them a quick coat of paint just using a silver sharpie and I've actually dropped some black paint inside the uh, sort of engine holes just to make those look a little bit darker but I think they look really quite nice so uh, let's put one of these inside a sky sled. I'll uh, bring in one of them. I've got a couple as you know so I'm going to bring in I think I'll put it on that, that sort of greeny damaged one. Well, let's add that. All I've done is I've stuck a bit of a uh, double-sided tape on there. It's actually one of those double-sided sticky pads so that I can just drop this in the back of uh, the sky sled and then if I ever want to remove it uh, I can easily do that because it's only just stuck in with some tape. So I'll stick that in like that. There you go. We've now got little engines on the back of the sky set. I actually think that looks really quite nice. It's uh, quite a simple thing to do and it's a sort of non-permanent modification to the sky sled, but it does add quite a lot of detail. Let's add one of the others. So uh, I think I, I like that one the best out of the other two that I've made. Again, just a double-sided pad on there. And we can uh, push that inside the back here and stick it in place. Yeah. That's really quite convincing. Now we need to check though that these still actually fit on the uh, main part of the battle ram. So let's do that. So this is the rear part of the battle ram and here is one with the new engine piece stuck in place. And we can slip that on and it still clips on really quite nicely. So it does everything I wanted. We'll check the other one as well. I think this is a, a different version. This might be a Spanish or, uh, yeah, this is a Spanish version of the sky sled. These are actually sometimes a bit tighter to fit in the uh, rear part. It clips in a bit more forcefully, but as you can see that clips in quite nicely. So uh, yeah, both of those work really well. And here are the final war sleds and I have to say I think they look uh, really very nice. I did take the time and paint the eyes on them so you can see that uh, Trapjaw's one here has a little yellow eye and uh, Skeletor's one I've got a little red dot there for you. I think it's a sort of nice little detail. I probably could have actually done a bit more painting and sort of painted the gun that's on the front but these vintage toys don't tend to have any paint on them so I wanted to try and keep it sort of in keeping with what Mattel would have done at the time. But as you can see the overall effect is really very nice. So uh, nice sort of bright sticker on the side with the Skeletor's Dragon. If we turn it around you can see we've got some engines and jets on the back and I think that is just the sort of detail that you need on the back of this. It just makes the back of this vehicle look that bit more interesting which is uh, really what I wanted to do. So uh, yeah the overall effect is really quite nice. I'll show you the uh, finished uh, trap jaw version as well so you can see he's got the blue dragon on the side with the yellow eye and a slightly different engine on the back but the overall effect is exactly the same. Now if you want to do this to your own uh, sky sleds to turn them into the war sleds then uh, this file will be available from toyploy.com so you can go there and download that and uh, do your own bit of customizing and do check out my other video on a full restoration of the battle ram if you need to uh, get the stickers for uh, that part of the toy as well. So I hope this video has been of interest to you. If it has then make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.